Hello friends, Dan with On One here. If you've been watching, you've already seen that we've made some improvements to the Masking Refine Brush, which creates a much higher quality results and it's faster, as well as it gives you more control over the thickness of the edge, or basically if it's gonna be a thin edge like hair or branches or a hard edge like a ridge, it can give you a lot more control over the results. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. We've also added another super secret mode to the Refine Brush called Encircle Mode, which allows you to use it not just to refine a mask, but even to create a new mask from scratch. Let me show you how it works. All right, so here's an example. Let's say we want to change the hair color on this model. We want to make it more red. Well, we could use that with a regular brush, but we're going to end up painting the background red and where it overlaps with her skin red. That's not going to look very professional. Now we could use Mask AI, but that's going to select the entire person, not just a portion of the person like their hair. When you need to select a subset of an object, you can now use the Refine Brush. So I'm just going to start on the left. I'm going to grab the Refine Brush. And all you're going to do is you're going to paint a loose shape around what you're trying to mask. So in this case, I'm just going to paint right across her hair, all around the edge. I'm not going to fill it in. It's important that I leave a gap. I'm basically just drawing a circle around what I want to create a mask of. Now, if I hit the O key on my keyboard, I can see the mask that's generated for me. You can see how it's accurately selected just her hair, the area inside of the shape that I created. Now I can use any of the tools, like I am happen to be on a local adjustment here, and I just want to shift her hair color to be more red. There we go. That's how easy it is. And you can use this to create a new mask or to add or subtract from an existing mask that's created with any of the other masking tools. Let me show you another example. Let's say we want to create a hand-colored look. I'm going to go to Effects, and I'm going to add a black and white filter. This makes the entire photo black and white, but let's say I want to bring back the color just in her bouquet. I'm going to zoom in closer here so we can take a look at the bouquet. I'm going to grab that Refine Brush Tool, and I'm just going to simply paint around the outside edge of the bouquet. And you can do this in multiple pieces. That's what I'm going to do. So you can see I'm painting all the way around it, and I want to stop at her hand. And there you go. You can see how it created that mask automatically. And I can do the same thing down here on the stems at the bottom. I'll just make another little encircling, making sure to leave a hole in the middle. And voila, it created that mask for me. Nice clean details all the way up to the edges. Before and after. Let me show you how you can use the new Refine Masks in Circle mode to help you improve masks you create with Super Select AI or the other AI masking tools. I want to start by making this photo darker and more dramatic. So I'm going to bring my exposure down so that I can create a deeper, darker sky. And I'm going to adjust my blacks until I have a little bit of a real black point. There, that creates a more foreboding look, but now my subject is a little too dark especially his face and his hat. This would be a good time to use Super Select. I can just select the tool, click on the person, and then I can add an adjustment such as a positive exposure adjustment. That lightened the subject without lightening the rest of the photo. As powerful as Super Select AI is, it's designed to select an entire object, not just a portion of it. So if I wanted to only affect the face and the hat, this is a great way to use the Refine Mask tool to edit the mask that it's already created. In this example, I actually like the coat and his pants being dark, and I really only want to lighten his face. So I can just grab the Refine Brush tool, and I'm just going to simply paint roughly along his outline. And there you go. You can see it has removed his coat and pants from the mask. And now I can control just the head and the hat independently. With this photo, I want to do what's called a key shift. I actually want to take it from a light background to a dark background. I'm going to use a local adjustment for this. And I'm just going to start off by picking the darker preset. Then we'll grab the refine brush. And I'm just going to loosely paint around the bird and its nest. It's important to pay attention to your brush mode that you're using. I want to make sure I'm set to paint in for this because I'm applying a local adjustment. 
then just paint along the edge. You don't have to be super accurate, just make sure you get all the way along the edge that's important that we create the mask from. And be sure to leave a hole in the middle. There you go. You can see I've created that nice accurate mask where I could now darken and control the background brightness without affecting the foreground. So I can effectively shift the key in the photo. I could also maybe change the color of the background a little bit. Maybe I want to cool the background off in comparison to my little bird that's in the foreground. If I wanted to add the branch in, I just simply brush over it again with the refine brush. And then I'll just use the retouching brush to remove the distracting other little branch up above. There we go. Let's look at the before and after. There's before and after. All three of these examples, we created a mask using the Mask Refine brush and it's new in circle mode. We think it's going to be a great addition to your masking toolkit, especially when you're trying to pick a small portion of a larger subject. We can't wait to see what you create with it. Thanks for watching.